Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad to hear this Thursday morning. Got a great show lined up, but first, let's get our weather. Uh, brought to us by Haney Technical Center at the corner of Baldwin and Highway 77. We're going to be a warm day up to 75 degrees and low is going to be, we're calling right now, a low of 56. So we've got about a you know, good range right there, but keep your eyes on the skies as far as the rain. They've been you know, for about two weeks now, they've been predicting rain for this weekend. And uh, so just you know, don't get too far out uh, on the water and all and be safe and all. And just, you know, with electronics the way it is today, we'll really stay on top of things too. So be wise on that. Water temperature here now, 65. It's uh, it got up to high 69 last, you know, over the weekend and all. Dropped down with this cool weather and all, but it's going to start picking back up soon. So be aware of that. Let's take a look at our river readings brought to us by Watson's Landing Marina and Dry Storage. And what a great place to have down there. Looking at the Appalachian Blunstown, 12.5, and a little bit of rise to it. It, it has some rain up there in north, uh, south Georgia, north of us. The Choctaw at Caraville, 9.8, and it's got a little bit of drop to it. So you take your choice. You want to, what kind of river you want to fish, rising water or falling water this weekend? Now let's take a look at our uh, tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Funeral Home and Cemetery. Folks, we're in those neap tides. Looking on the screen there, the whole week has been all neap tides and. Even this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday is going to be neap tides. But next week we'll get back to some strong tidal flow. But uh, this week we had a full moon last night. It's going to be almost full tonight, so it has a strong effect on our tidal system. Uh, take a look at our marine forecast. They call it for south southeast at about 15 to 20. So a lot of time in that situation, it's going to be rough getting out on a on a small boat. So be aware of that. Now we got special guests here in the studio, so we're going to take our break and come back and meet our guest. Right, welcome back and welcome to our guest, Captain Randy Sonoda. Good morning. Good morning, sir. We're glad to have you, a local guy here, fishing guy here, but also the Coastal Angler Magazine, all of us, I, I think about 99% of our viewers picked this Coastal Angler Magazine up, and this is uh, your area for the Coastal Angler Magazine. Yes, sir. I am and, the uh, publisher for the Panama City Forgotten Coast edition of Coastal Angler Magazine. And you cover, Magazine. we were talking, our whole viewing area, uh, except in Walton County, he covers uh, this whole area. So. It should be familiar with a lot of y'all, and uh, I saw this magazine when it first came out. I said, man, what a great idea what they do. So, uh, uh, first of all, how did you, how'd you start fishing? Winston, I've been fishing since I was a, big enough to walk. Yeah. If I could get myself to a lake or a river or something, I would be there fishing. Uh, that's great. So, it's uh, all my life. And you're an Air Force, retired Air Force? I am retired Air Force. I served 24 years in the, in the Air Force. Uh, stationed here at Tyndall for for a good while and uh, over here at Eglin also and so that's yeah. how I got connected with the Gulf Coast communities and after my wife and I retired we just had to come back. And you know uh, you rock so many we have so many Air Force retired guys out there and, and ladies that, that watch the show and uh, they, were, they all say the same thing they just they like this area. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> and there's some good fishing here. And some some of the best <laughs> there is right and, here. And you fished a whole, all over America. I have fished almost all over America, yeah, that's a, that's almost, amazing. almost the whole and, country. Uh, you've done a lot of bass fishing, I understand. I've done a lot of bass fishing. I've been competing in tournament bass fishing for 25 or more years now uh, on local levels and some professional levels with the BASS Opens, the FLW. Mm -hmm. um, had some limited success, uh, do okay locally, uh, but just love the competition. That, you know, we've got a great group of, of bass fishermen, and, and it's, it's really fascinating to watch. There's some great bass fishing. We got rivers and lakes all over the place. Everywhere. <laughs> okay, so tell us. Uh, uh, you're also a captain, and uh, what's the name of your company? Uh, uh, I'm the owner operator of C Note Charters. C Note uh, Charters. C Note Charters. Uh, you can go on my website, check us out, uh, book a trip. I do bay trips. I do. Uh, Nearshore trips. I got a fairly small boat, so I don't go way offshore, but I do small private charters. Uh, and I also charter for bass fishing. People want to go bass fishing, I'm, this I'm the is, one to call. You're the, if I was a guy, if I was, I would never will be, but if I, I, I don't have time, but if I was a guy, I would do exactly what you do. A little bit of freshwater fishing, a little bit of bay fishing, a little bit, and what a versatile uh, 
angle. They you got to have something to fall back on when the wind yeah. blows. <laughs> yeah, and, and we we're and having, that river is a great place to do it. And we, we're having some wind. Haven't we, we get we the, cannot get a break from the, the wind. whole month of March has been windy. <laughs> Well, tell us right now, how did you get hooked up with Coastal Angle Magazine? Well, uh, a few years ago, I originally just started off as a uh, contributing writer, uh, offering uh, the, the previous publisher uh, forecasts for uh, so the local fishing. And uh, once that publisher's named Bill Peavy, he was the prior publisher, mm -hmm. uh, once Bill got to a point in his life where he had to start letting some things go, he uh, offered up for me to take over the magazine, and, and I, I jumped on it and was really excited about publishing a fishing magazine yeah. I just seemed like a really cool thing to do and you know now that I've gotten into it I've you know had to learn some skills that I didn't have before like yeah. ad sales and you know and 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 editing and that I, you know stuff I was okay at but yeah. you know uh, so I've learned a lot and uh, my wife and I my wife Donna she helps me with this magazine it's a family business I can't do it by myself yeah. uh, so it's a lot of work but it's a it's a labor of love I can I can appreciate that because uh, th this Panhandle Outdoors is a family business. My wife is just immense help to me, and so I, I appreciate you saying that about your wife helping you because I, I know where you're coming from. But and we couldn't do it without them, could we? No, we, no we way. Really couldn't. No way. The the fascinating thing about these skills you learned, uh, you know, you didn't have a lot of background in publishing and all, but yet you were able to get out there. And, and, and learn them, and, and it's, it's such a good magazine. Well, believe it or not, uh, in my time in the Air Force, they 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 put a lot of effort into training uh, senior NCOs with communication skills and things like that. So I actually learned a lot of that from my time in the Air Force, and it comes cool. in really handy when you're editing yeah. and publishing. So yeah. that, was, that came in real handy, believe yeah. it or not. <laughs> For those folks that don't know, you could go to uh, New Hampshire or somewhere to coast up at Cape Cod or something. There'd be a coastal ag angler magazine. Up there, there, we are published all over Florida, of course, and as far as into Galveston, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, all through the southeast, southern states, all the way up in uh, the northern states, yep. Michigan, up there, and uh, you know, it's not all points in between, but it's just a smattering yeah. of areas all over the place. So, but we are a national magazine. And, coastal and, angler. and we're going we're going to take a break. But we're going to talk about how this guy's uh, basically how how they do this is really a neat marketing idea, and, and it's such a, it's a win win situation for everybody. It is. You know, so uh, let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Now, right, welcome back. Glad you're with us this morning. I'm here tomorrow to be the famous Friday fishing forecast. We're going to talk some serious fishing coming up this weekend. But first, uh, our guest today, Captain Randy Sinota of Coastal Angler Magazine, also Note Charter. So uh, we were talking about how this, uh, how they got started. And I'll briefly tell folks how the idea came in. For the magazine. The magazine John, itself. The, the magazine started off in South Florida. It was a, a, a husband wife team biologists mm -hmm. that were just publishing the magazine just in a local small market mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, our current uh, CEO Ben Martin has taken it and turned it into a national force to be reckoned with in any outdoor publication yeah uh, he, just with the, the business model they use you know with the free f format you know where the franchisees and the corporate level all pick up the operating and the printing costs and things like that so we're able to produce a, a magazine on a national level with that local feel yeah. because of the individual yeah. franchisees that own that area. And that's the idea, that, that little that light bulb that went off somebody's head about doing that combination of the national and local. Because like we were saying earlier, when, I, when we were growing up, we had field and stream and, you know, it was up there in New York and, and it covered right. it, you know, so when you hit this local scene, that's when that really made it go somewhere and all that. And, and there's also articles in the magazine about things going on in other places, like you might have bucket lists you want to go to, Mexico for bass fishing or yeah. Costa Rica for sailfish. And, we yeah. have articles and, and, and things about that in there as well. And, and this center section right here, the center section, uh, what, 16 pages or something? The center or, section or is it, anywhere yeah. from 12 to 24 pages okay. on any given month of uh, articles and, mm -hmm. and captain's reports. and Yeah, you got a, uh, here's a, uh, right here, this is uh, Daryl Shoemate, captain on Panama. you got Panama City Beach, Panama City. You've got uh, Port St. Joe and Forgotten Coast. Uh, Chipola River area, Dead Lakes. Yes, sir. you got a report from there. Uh, St. George Island, Carabelle, Alligator Point, so, and Deer Point Lake. And you just got, you got all these places, Lake Jackson. 
uh, offshore Lake Seminole, yeah, we uh, wanna, articles by captains. Yeah, we want to hit both fresh and salt water mm -hmm. uh, because we know there's so many of both right here in this right here in this area. So we'll, and and you can't beat the cost right right here. You can't. It? Right here, see, it's free. Okay, you can't you can't beat that. <laughs> All you gotta do is pick it up. And uh, one of our 220 plus distribution points yeah. in, in our eight surrounding counties. Uh, you show me some this little chart here uh, behind it's behind fuel and stream and. Uh, yeah, like it, third in the, in the world. It, in uh, the Global Research St Services did a study and 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 proved showed that uh, Coastal Angler Magazine is ranking number one in terms of cost per thousand. So potential advertisers, local businesses, uh -huh. if you're considering print advertisement, Coastal Angler Magazine, as far as cost per thousand, ranked yeah. number one mm -hmm. in all the outdoor publication magazines. We rank number three, just under Field and Stream and Outdoor Life. Uh, in distribution rates, yeah, circulation. so we hit a large, large market, yeah. large market yeah. at a great price. Where are some of the places people can find these? Oh, locally, you can find them in restaurants, tackle shops, uh, convenience stores, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's all the way from the far reaches of Panama City Beach all the way down as far as Alligator Point mm -hmm. and all points in between. And uh, and uh, they come comes out once a month. Every month, every what time month. time of the we, month does it come out usually? I I will uh, for instance, this month, uh, probably later this week, I'll receive the next shipment of magazines for April issue, and by the first, second, third of the month, I'll have them all out and cool. ready to go. Do you physically go to places and? and I do it. I do it all. I do it all. I understand that little one horse operation because we do the same right? thing. Just, but I love it. I love I, getting out and talking to the yeah. anglers and in other areas. You know, I made connections, made a lot of friends in places like down in Carabelle, places yeah. you wouldn't normally go, but uh -huh. because of the business, it takes me there, and I love it. Yeah. Uh, now these captains you have contribute. They they they're on top of everything. They're out there on a regular basis. Uh, my captains, I don't, they're not mine, but they're yeah. contributing yeah. writers, the captains, local captains that uh, provide us our fishing forecast. They they know their business. This is how they make their living is is guiding. Just, yeah. You know, one of the things that I do. Yeah. So they, they they know what's going on. What what's what I wanted some of the challenges you face uh, doing this? What are some of the biggest challenges? What's some of the hardest things to get done? Uh, I. I Deadlines. Time management. I, time. I think time management because one of the things you know, go into this fishing magazine and um, you know, want to fish, uh, want to be connected with fishing somehow. But you know, there's a true business aspect to that, and it cuts into my fishing time, and I'm not happy about that. But we, I, again, well, I, the more we talk, the more similarities I see we have, and this show is really cutting my fishing time. It yes. really has. But it does. Uh, uh, when I retire next month, it's going to change a lot. Yeah. Uh, next month or two. So. Uh, but I do have a good excuse. I've got. I post a lot of. Uh, fishing tips and videos on our Facebook, our yeah. Coastal Angler Magazine Facebook page. So I have to get out there and fish and shoot videos to put yeah. that. Got to have content on the Facebook page. Got to stay connected with the with the fish and what's going on. And I guide, so I'm, I'm out there. Yeah. I still manage to get out there. Uh, that, that's really good. And uh, stay on top of things. I know uh, I pick mine up a lot of times at Blue Water. Or, you got them down at C&G, uh, C&G Sporting Goods? Oh, uh, they don't advertise with us, but we distribute there. Oh, that's that's, a, that's one of my distribution a, yeah. points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so all your local places. And what I like about it, again, you, I got Lake Seminole here and, and Lake mm. Jackson. All, Some all wonderful there. places for bass fishing. Oh, man. Amazing. Uh, some of the best in the world. I was just speaking, we're going our, our last segment here, we're going to talk about just some boating, some boating tips and mainly some fishing tips and all about how uh, different places you can go and then what you've been successful with, different techniques and all. But again, this magazine is just, uh, when, I, when I saw it, when the idea first came out, uh, I said, what a neat idea. You, just, you get your own local franchise and yet you got the national support behind you. Yep. And it's just like, a, and it, it's good quality, uh, good beautiful cover and all. And, yep, it's a good and, quality uh, magazine. Yeah. Also, you had mentioned uh, we're going to give away a boat or something. Tell we, us, uh, Coastal what? Angler Magazine is okay. giving away a boat Go on to uh, coastalanglermag.com mm -hmm. and look for that flyer there for the free boat giveaway. Uh, log in there put, or just uh, get on the website, punch in a little bit of information. And this July at the ICAST, they're going to be giving away at Cape Craft Boat Motor and Trailer Combination. Uh, somebody's going to win right. it. It's 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 ready to go. You don't have to be at the ICAST to win it. You well, just have I'm, to I'm gonna log do in there. I, I'm going to register and I'm going to be at the ICAST. All right, well, I'll be draw, there too. So uh, they're going to draw. Uh, they're going to draw. Do the drawing at the ICAST in July down in Orlando. 
And that's but you don't have to be present for Yeah, you don't have to be present. But uh, again, uh, that's, uh, we've got two or three opportunities here in our area from in Panhandle Outdoors for our viewers. But of course, other people do, but to, to win a boat this year. Mm -hmm. uh, you can catch that redfish, that tagged redfish with Coastal Conservation Association, or you can enter uh, Coastal Angler uh, Magazine, and that's two different, a free boat. Two okay. boats getting given away. Yeah, that we know of. Uh, probably this some, summer. <laughs> probably some more out there, too. So, uh, boy, I, you know, that's the thing about it. We often talk about the show with Panhandle being such great outdoors people, uh, and we all work together. I mean, we're, we're complimenting each other as far as, you know, talking to all of them and, and, and uh, informing the public about the fishing. And, and that, that's something we've been able to do. So uh, we're going to take a final break, and we're going to come back, and uh, we'll give you some fishing tips from Captain uh, uh, Sonoda, Randy Sonoda, and we're going to be right back. Welcome back. Glad you're with us this morning. I'm here with Captain Randy Sonoda of Coastal Angler Magazine, also Sea Note Charter. So give him a call and you can do freshwater fishing or saltwater fishing. And speaking of fishing, let's look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Mark Cowart of Counts Realty. Our time uh, this morning, 123 to 323, but this evening, right after lunch, 144 to 344. Uh, Randy, let's talk about what I mentioned real quick. Uh, you fished your whole life and are captain now. And I, I, when I have my guests on here and do these fishing game times, I always ask the opinion of my guests. You know, are there periods of time where you fish and where it's just really hot and, and then it turns back off and turn on later? How, what's your experience? There, with there's no question. There's times where it seems like a, a switch was flicked and they just feed and they feed and they feed and, and you can't do anything wrong. It's just cast after cast, you're catching fish. Yeah. And then that always eventually goes away. <laughs> so you have to be so so during those times that's great that's easy you, you know f for bass fishing freshwater for instance you know you're yeah. on a point you're throwing a rattle trap or a spinnerbait and you're catching them and they're easy uh -huh. but that that's going to go away but what do those fish do the fish haven't gone away they're somewhere in that lake so you know one of the things that i would uh would advise is when things change like that drastically specifically bass fishing mm -hmm. Go to the nearest heavy cover. That's usually where those fish, they come out of these open areas and they go deep into cover. Big flipping sticks, heavy jigs, heavy line, uh -huh. and go into the tight places where they hide and you, you can pick them up in there. Speaking, speaking of bass fishing and all of that, I know you've done a whole lot of it, and, and you, that's a good point right there. When seasonal, now we're in the springtime and, and the bedding time and all that, yes. so how, how do you do, how do you adjust your fishing from, you know, from the spring to the summer? Uh, from spring to summer, you know, it's, it's pretty evident once they've uh, moved off the beds, you don't see them bedding, you don't see them in the shallows anymore, and uh, they're moving into that post-spawn. Mm -hmm. uh, once bass specifically start moving into that post-spawn, uh, you know, I'll go with things like top waters, uh, subtle top waters, you know, like mm -hmm. popars and, and a rapala floating minnow, um, and uh, more finessey presentations like senkos and flukes, uh, okay. you know. They're, they're not terribly aggressive, you know, later well into the summer, then you can start going with the big crankbaits and jigs and things, you know, because they'll get more aggressive. But coming off the spawn, uh, fish are beat up, bass are beat up from that spawn. They're a little lethargic. They're hungry. They will eat. Yeah. But you need to adjust. You need to downsize, slow things down. Good, good point right there. Good point. Now, uh, what about, okay, when, you, when you're fishing uh, deep water compared to, to uh, out in the flats, you know, in shallow water, how, what's your combination there? Uh, are we talking bass fishing yeah, still? bass right now. Stay we'll out. Just like well, you know, it, if, if it's out in deep water, you know, definitely on lakes like Seminole and Talquin, you know, later in the summer, those mm -hmm. fish are going to be deep. They're going to be deep, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, if you're working ledges and stuff, you need to get out there with, a rigs, uh, jigs, Carolina rigs, deep diving crankbaits, mm -hmm. things like that. For now, they're shallow, uh, and they're going to be shallow for a while. Okay, they're good, good points shallow. there. And I know, uh, again, uh, this this is excellent fishing this time of year. And excellent. The great thing about Some bass fishing when they, they started back in the '70s, releasing the fish. Yeah. And that's been a yeah. wonderful thing as far yeah. as just, you know. It that's, is. That's good. You know, you look at lakes like Deer Point, a local lake. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a reputation for being a tough place to catch fish. Yeah. I promise you, Winston, that lake is full of fish. There is a ton of fish in that lake. Yeah. I have been catching them good. That's that's great news right there. All right, let's quickly, got a few minutes left. Let's jump over to saltwater now. All right. 
All right, what's going on saltwater with y'all? Saltwater, you know, them redfish are moving up on the flats. That's where you can find them right now. We got all the reports to back that up right here in my magazine. <laughs> That's right. The, the, they're, they're picking up some trout, not picking up a whole lot of trout. I'm not having a lot of luck with trout, but the ones I am catching are, are good ones. They're, they're good sized trout. Um, but the most exciting thing to me going on right now is those cobia, they're coming. They're starting to show up, mm -hmm. and to me, there's just nothing more fun than going out sight fishing for cobia once they get here. That's hunting and fishing all combined Hunting and together. fishing, sight yeah. fishing, just like we sight fish for bass, you sight fish for cobia. What, oh, I mean, you see, you know, you've been fishing a long time. You see, we talked about the FWC rule on maybe going from two redfish to one redfish. What's your take on that? You see uh, fewer redfish now? Fewer? Or, yeah. No, about, sir. I've, I've seen I see tons of redfish. I've, I've, Places where we just we can catch them every yeah. cast, you know. Not so much on the flats fishing right now. They're they're, they're here and there. They're they're they're, they're moving up there. But uh, I think the redfish population in this area as a whole mm -hmm. is extremely healthy. Okay. Extremely healthy. Okay. In fact, to the point where if I would entertain the idea of maybe starting to off, uh, offer permits to uh, harvest some of the bull redfish. Yeah. A few, not many, but yeah. a few. Okay, what about uh, the speckled trout? Uh, this summer, how, how do you fish with trout in the summertime? Spring trout spring? in the summertime? Yeah. Obviously in the morning, everything yeah. I do, whether it's trout, whether it's redfish, mm -hmm. top water. But uh, uh donks, top dogs, uh, Zara spooks. Uh, in the summertime, you cannot beat the, the, the top water bite. For, for trout and redfish. There's just, you know, a redfish is not designed, his mouth is not designed to come up to the surface. And he's right, designed to feed on the bottom, uh -huh. but he will feed on the surface. And when they do, it, it's, it's, such a, it's such a rush because they move so much water and they make such a commotion every time they come up and eat a top water plug. Nothing more fun than that. Once the sun goes down, you need to start throwing your jigs and your gold spoons and stuff like that. Okay, so, yeah. that's some really, really good advice. And folks, you want to fish with uh, Captain uh, Randy Snow, the Sea Note Charters, and also the, the magazine. Again, I want to uh, compliment y'all on what a great magazine it is. And Thank you, Winston. I know it's a lot of hard work. It is. <laughs> but uh, it, it's very rewarding, and you're doing the same thing we're doing, uh, in, in entertaining and informing the, the public. Entertaining and inform. That's and, right. Uh, that, and that's fish. Our, that, that's our goal, and, and fish. Uh, it's three goals. And number three, we need to move up number one. <laughs> <laughs> got, that's what we got to work on. I know, right? Uh, I appreciate you getting up early and coming up and being on the show. And, I appreciate uh, you having me, Winston. And uh, y'all give them a call. And, and again, uh, you pick this magazine up at all the bait and tackle stores, all the outdoor stores, and also convenience stores and all. There. Convenience stores, tackle shops, restaurants, uh, hotels. Yeah. And, and many, about, many yeah, and It's just good, up-to-date information. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Winston, for and having me. Appreciate it. All right. Y'all do something good for your fellow man today. You have a great day in the outdoors, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.